Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Kakaiso with TGN.TV, bringing you my second TGN World of Warcraft video. In my first video, a lot of people ask me what kind of UI I'm using, what some add-ons that I'm using, so this video is going to cover that for you guys. In the description below, you'll find the list of add-ons that I use for World of Warcraft. As well, the video you are about to watch will show you how to install and configure Tuck UI. Tuck UI, in my opinion, is a very comfortable, clean, and simple UI to use. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up your internet browser, whether you got Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, I don't really give a fuck anymore. Uh, personally, I prefer Firefox. Once you open that up, you want to head over to tuckui.org. I don't care about you right now. We're going to head over to tuckui.org. Link will be in the description below. And uh, once you're there, you want to head over to this little logo called down, or sorry, this little symbol called download underneath the Tuck UI logo you want to click on that which will bring you into a new page and you will see all the previous packages uh, previous you know versions of Tuck UI they've had over the years and uh, I just want to mention something here guys all these packages are dot zip and um, personally for a self extracting program I prefer uh, WinRAR a very nice program it covers a wide variety of file uh, types um, way better than WinZip hell way better than WinZip so yeah uh, go ahead and download that link for that will be in the description below this is in a video on how to install WinRAR it's about TuckUI so figure that out on your own guys we're gonna download the latest version of TuckUI and we're gonna save it to my desktop done bada bing bada boom and we're gonna exit Firefox or internet whatever you got so I got my little package here on my desktop got my package of bows uh, we're gonna open that up and as you can see there are four folders in this package oh man I'm gonna be stuck on that word all day okay so four folders in this in the zip file I will say that uh, you got tuck UI raid healing tuck UI raid tuck UI config UI and tuck UI um, that's all you need that's pretty much the UI right there guys these four folders that's it that's the UI that is everything on it so uh, what you want to do is you want to extract that to your World of Warcraft add-ons folder. Now one thing I advise you guys is to back up your WTF folder and your add-ons folder um, because if anything does go wrong you want to make sure you have your old settings just in case because nothing's worse than having to go back and reset and re-download all your add-ons. That's a pain in the ass guys so make sure you do that and don't make sure and I mean, sorry, don't make sure, make sure that you do both your interface, your add-ons folder and your WTF folder because uh, back, you know, just having a copy of your add-ons folder does not keep the settings. Your WTF folder holds all your user settings for each character that you play, each character that you've logged into holds all those settings for those add-ons. So make sure you have both of those when you're backing up your files. So as you can see in my add-ons folder, I have nothing but the four files, four, uh, sorry, four folders already. Um, that's because it's they're already in there for purposes, uh, for speed. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract them anyways. You know, sure, rewrite them. They're the exact same file anyways. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to delete the zip file. So just to make sure, guys, you know, hop into your World of Warcraft folder. Double check before you load up WoW. And uh, we're going to head into the interface, add-ons. And as you can see, four folders in there. Same ones that you've extracted. You can go ahead and look in them. I don't give a crap. Peek around. Not much in there. So that's it, guys. That's it for the uh, computer part. Everything else now is in World of Warcraft. So I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? So here we are back into the World of Warcraft. Uh, I've skipped ahead. I've already logged in. And I'm at the character select screen. Before you guys log in into your character, make sure that you check your add ons and that those four add ons are, in fact, enabled and they aren't out of date and everything like that. Make sure that they're just ready to go and give you guys the best of ability of a UI you can give. Um, usually this loading screen here takes a while. As you can see right now, it's actually zooming by pretty fast. So yeah. And right when you guys log in, uh, you have two windows that are all like, boom, what's up, bitches? So make sure you get rid of them. And first thing, you know, first welcome screen it's like oh thank you for choosing tuck ui blah 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 if you want a fucking tutorial if you're a retard you can go ahead and take that you know what i don't like retards and i'm not a retard so i'm gonna go ahead and install continue 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 finish pretty much what that does guys uh what that does guys sorry uh it 
it configures, it uh, scales Tuck UI, it formats Tuck UI to your monitor screen size. It, it formats the font, it formats the frames, everything to your screen size. That's the nice thing about Tuck UI is that it's a universal add-on and it can be formatted, configured to like almost any monitor size, practically any monitor size. Uh, I haven't seen one yet that hasn't been configured to it. So just let you know guys, it saves a lot of time. Uh, not being able to go to like wowui.com or whatever the fuck it's called and trying to, to find a UI that is your screen resolution. Fuck it, just get to Tuck UI and does it all for you. As you can see, the second window is two raid layouts are active. Please select the layout. So if you're a healer, main heals, go with that. If you're a DPS main or a tank main, go with that. But I'm a healer, main healer, so I'm going to go hit that. Now I'm going to show you guys later how to switch back and forth between the two it's not hard the only difference is the party frame slash raid frames so getting into this uh first thing you guys want to hop into is go to slash tuck ui which will bring up your configuration now the one thing i like to first thing i like to get rid of is as you can see the tuck ui has reskinned the blizzard frames to uh you know make it look kind of like tuck to match it everything and i don't fucking like that so we're gonna go and delete uncheck the reskin blizzard frames to match tuck ui uh, next thing on the list is going down to unit frames. Uh, next thing I want to have is I want to be able to show myself in party and as well have portraits enabled on player and target. Scrolling down again, make sure your error message is checked off or checked on. Sorry, uh, that hide spamming an error in the middle of your screen. You want to make sure you hide that stuff because it does get quite, kind of annoying if you like to spam buttons, especially if you're a rogue. It can get very annoying. Moving down, also last one is social. You want to make sure that you have enabled chat panel background. What that will do is it'll allow you put some contrast on here and uh, allow you to see what your categories are. So I hit apply settings, and that's done. So as you can see, like I just said, the chat panel backgrounds very nice contrast. You can see stuff, and you can see the text very clearly. Now to move everything around, like I said, I would show you the command is slash move UI. And as you can see, you can practically move almost about anything. So your focus, you want to move your focus around here, do that. And if you don't know how to focus some people, guys, uh, just click on someone and just hit slash focus. And you, I know you can't see it, but it is there. As you can see, it is there. So that's how you focus on one. And with all these boxes, most of them, uh, not the player boxes, but most of them, you can scale, which is a very, very nice thing to have. Especially, you can move your player around, you can move your target around. Uh, you can move with your ticket status around. You can move your shape shift and totem or a bar around. Uh, now, the one thing I do recommend is moving around these qu the quest things around to this side because uh, usually when I log in, it's like, it's like, yo, what's up, Kakaiso? Boom, you got a fucking shitload of quests to do today. You can't do any raiding, no. You got to do your quest. So it's like, I'm going to just rage quit after that. So uh, that's why I move it over there. I get out of the way so I don't have to deal with that shit. Also, with the arenas, uh, arena, you know, frames here, if you have Gladius installed or enabled, I'm pretty sure it does disable these because when I do have Gladius and I'm in arenas, uh, I don't see these at all. And if you guys don't know what Gladius is or don't have it, I would recommend going getting it if you are a arena user. Uh, very nice to have. Awesome, awesome add-on. Also, if you want to move your achievements when they pop up, you can move that around. Uh, vehicle seat, pads, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And also the tool tip. Now, um, boo, boo, boo. the one thing uh, I do recommend, sorry, I don't know if I mentioned this already, the macro, you can, might as well macro the move UI. So that way you can just one click instead of having to type. Also as well, when you're in the move UI, make sure, make sure you do this before you get in combat. Because I've done this once and I'm not doing it again. In Baird and Hold, it was a very bad fail on my part. But I was doing this, configuring, and the tank decides to pull. And I'm still stuck in this. And you cannot, you cannot disable this and get back to this normal when you're in combat. So I was pretty much raiding the whole time with all this shit in my face. So don't make the same mistake I did, guys. Make sure you do all of this before you start doing any kind of dungeon or before the tank pulls. I just recommend that, please, because I don't want any more failures in this game. And also, as you can see, the toolbar, the tooltip, sorry, does kind of cover this bar here. However, 
Uh, if you do have the Razor Naga, you can get a Tuck UI add-on. If you guys want me to show you how to get that, I would be more than happy to. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, it does not cover that kind of section. But as you can see, it does cover that bar here a bit. But usually I don't have this bar because I do have my Razor Naga. And if that does become a problem, just move your tooltip. You can move it over. Like that. And it's just out of the way now. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, you can go ahead and like it. Go ahead and favorite it. Go ahead and subscribe to the show. A YouTube show is a channel within a channel with its own subscribe button. Uh, it's like a TV show with its seasons and episodes, but it's on YouTube. So you can see the link in the description below. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video, liked the tutorial. I hope you like your new UI, if you installed it or not. And hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Thank you.